This is the Studio Caddy from Kensington, and it's designed specifically for those who have a lot of Apple devices and want a one-stop shop for not only charging, but also just a great space-saving solution in order to keep things more organized on your desk. This dock is incredibly well made with a good mix of durable materials like plastic, aluminum, and this nice stitch fabric material that lines the charging dock. So let's get right into the functionality. The dock comes in two separate pieces that can connect magnetically. The first part is your charging station. You have a vertical Qi wireless charger for your iPhone, and it's also designed to work with most cases up to three millimeters thick. This iPhone 12 Pro Max has a Nomad leather MagSafe case on it, and it obviously charges just fine. Then you have a spot for your AirPods or AirPods Pro to charge. Even though this Studio Caddy was designed for Apple devices in mind specifically, it can obviously work with other phones and headphones too, just as long as they accept the Qi wireless standard charging functionality. The charging dock also has a USB-C and USB type A port on the right side for more versatility. These ports are especially useful when you attach the laptop slash tablet holder portion of the caddy. So if you have a MacBook of any kind, Air or Pro, you can slide it into one of these slots here and then you have an extra slot for maybe another laptop to charge or a more likely scenario charging something like an iPad. This current setup, I have my iPad Pro with Magic Keyboard and a 13 inch MacBook Pro on it, but I've also tested out the 16 inch MacBook Pros and it fits just fine. Ideally, I would like to have seen two USB USB-C ports and maybe one type A or just both USB-C, but I also understand the flexibility here. The Studio Caddy is meant to be moved around your desk and is used in various fashion. They don't have to be magnetically attached at all times. If you use your MacBook docked with a monitor, then you're probably connected and charging your laptop through the monitor's USB-C cable, assuming of course you're using a Thunderbolt port. And so you'll have that USB-C port available for your iPad Pro or any other device that you want to charge relatively quickly. The iPhone will charge at a 7.5 watt rate or 10 watts for Android devices and 5 watts for the AirPods section for those who were interested in charging speeds. Some things I really do enjoy about the Studio Caddy, for starters, is the rubber non-slip material here at the bottom of each dock. It's really good and it really does a great job of making sure it just doesn't slip and slide around your desk. The most useful feature overall though is just that versatility that you get with this dock. I like that all devices can be in one centralized location, or if you wanted to switch it up, you can move them around to free up space in different locations on your desk. Now, the biggest downside to this Studio Caddy is the price. It's a bit expensive, coming in at $179. Now, you could easily find cheaper alternatives for charging docks and MacBook holders, though they are not all the same and they probably won't connect together or have the ability to detach if needed. The Studio Caddy is very well made. And again, it's great for desktop organization for all of your devices. But personally, I think $99 at the maximum would have been a better price point. Of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Kensington Studio Caddy. Let me know in the comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.